Hello everyone, today we're going to take a quick walk around and look at this brand new 2017 Alfa Romeo Giulia TI Sport. This Giulia is in Volcano Black Metallic, it has the Nero and Rosso Sport Leather Interior. This vehicle is all-wheel drive with Alfa Romeo's Q4 Automatic Full-Time All-Wheel Drive System. It is powered by the 2.0-liter multi-air 2 turbocharged and intercooled inline 4-cylinder engine. Creates 280 horsepower. It is mated to a ZF sourced 8-speed 8 8HP8 50 automatic gearbox. It does have manual shiftability via the levers or the steering column mounted paddles. Press the button for park. This vehicle also uses Alfa Romeo's DNA driving dynamic selector. And this vehicle is equipped with a park view backup camera, which activates in reverse. It does have active guidance lines. You also have your park sense parking sensors display readout, LED turn la lamps and stop lamps. You have the sport rear fascia with the dual bright tipped exhaust. And this vehicle does have the 18 inch sport aluminum wheels with the red calipers and white script for the Alfa Romeo. The tires are Bridgestone Turanza EL450 225-45 R18 tires. This vehicle does have LED turn repeaters on the side view mirrors, as well as Xenon high intensity discharge headlamps. Sport front fascia with LED daytime running lights. And this vehicle is equipped with a remote start. Just double press the remote start button on the key fob. And with the smart key access system, by keeping the key fob in your purse or pocket, you're able to lock and unlock the vehicle doors. To lock, simply press the buttons on the door handles. The horn will chirp and the vehicle will lock. To unlock, simply grab the handles, you'd open it. Alright, inside you see the striking red and black interior with the aluminum trim. It also has red accent stitching. Power heated, power fold away mirrors, power windows, and power door locks come standard. Aluminum tread plates, eight way power driver and passenger seat with four way adjustable lumbar support, three driver memory. And on the dashboard, you have your automatic headlamp control with rear fog lamps, tilt and telescoping steering wheel, all right, we're going to pan through the interior and show a little bit more details, satin silver trim on the steering wheel, engine start stop button, cruise controls, and your audio and Bluetooth controls. Do you have your stationary paddle shifters mounted behind the steering wheel 
very legible instrument cluster with a 7,000 RPM TAC, 160 mile per hour speedometer. You've also got digital readouts on either side of the main gauges for your coolant temperature and your fuel level. You have a nice LCD display that shows your vehicle dynamics. And on the side of the wiper switch is your menu button where you can cycle through your menus. First page is your instant speed and instant miles per gallon. Second speed is your trip meter, average speed, average miles per gallon. And the third one is your driving dynamics. Eight point eight inch touch or er, non touch screen display. It is nicely integrated into the dashboard. It is also controlled by the rotary wheel on the center console. You can rotate it, tap it to the left and tap it to the right, pressing down to enter selections. As I said before, and to go back, you can tap it to the right or the left. different apps efficient drive menu and an integrated user's manual A to Z search and search by image and you can see the se uh, settings has a sub menu by activating to the submenus, you tap to the right. And to go back to the main menu, just press the menu button. And going down, twin air vents. The satin silver trim continues. Four-way flashers. You've also got dual zone automatic climate control. Underneath those, you have your three stage heated seats and your heated steering wheel, USB charge port, pair of cup holders up front behind the sliding tray. Of course, you have your DNA selector switch, radio volume, electric parking brake, leather center armrest, which opens up to reveal storage. You've also got a USB port, auxiliary input jack, and a 12 volt power point. Overhead you do have an automatic dimming rear view mirror. Gloss black piano trim on the overhead console. You have LED reading lights. LED dome lighting. Also the ability to turn on the rear dome light. Doors open on your passenger side. Sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors. Sliding visors as well, which is nice. Overhead passenger assist handles that have a soft dampener. Alright, looking at the rear seat, as you can see the door trim continues the same theme as the front seats. Rear seat is a 40-20-40 split folding seat with high adjustable head restraints on all passenger seating areas. You also have overhead assist handles for the outboard seats. Fold down center armrest, which includes cup holders. Twin adjustable air vents in the rear console as well as a USB charge port. Seat backs also have mat pockets.
All right, to open the luggage area, just press the button below the driver's side dashboard. And looking inside the trunk, it is very nice and spacious. You have the floor mats behind. Also have a fold-up area below the mat. Seat back release handles. All right, and this does conclude our quick walk around look at this brand new 2017 Alfa Romeo Giulia TI Sport. We hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thanks for watching.